on this video we're going to analyze a classically described CT pattern which is traditionally known as the crazy paving pattern and for this pattern there are three specific distinct features that should be present as is shown on this CT scan we will need to understand the anatomy of the lung to further understand this pattern. For the crazy paving pattern, there are two forms of septal thickening, which includes interlobular septal thickening, which is the septal thickening surrounding the secondary pulmonary lobules, which are seen as these coarser lines. And if you look carefully, there are further finer lines amongst these, which are the intralobular septal thickening and when this f goes further it is also replaced by areas of diffused ground glass the crazy paving pattern can be associated with other patterns or can be manifested on its own in a pure crazy paving pattern this was classically described with entities such as pulmonary alveolar proteinosis although this can now be observed with many other infectious as well as non-infectious conditions the presence of older scans and temporal progression are useful in differentiating as would be the presence of any gravity dependent predilection or other ancillary findings references containing important links have been attached below